welcome back to my channel it's been a while since the last time i've uploaded video on my channel but i'm back <laughs> happy new year to everyone and i hope this will be a fabulous year for all of us so today's video we are going to talk about coming to america but it is not about applying for tourist visa i will try to make a video for that but for now i am going to share with you my journey of how i was able to renew my passport you know during this pandemic time it's really hard to get an appointment at the Department of Foreign Affairs. When I tried to check last August, um, I got really frustrated because it's full until February of 2022 and I cannot wait that long. There are other ways to get an available slot. One is to look for a travel agency that process those kind of documents. It is a bit costly. Like some of my friends, they paid for a thousand just to get an available slot. So aside from checking on the travel agency, there is also a way if you have a valid reason to travel outside the country, say you are going to attend a wedding of a family member or you are going to visit a friend that has a serious medical condition, you can actually send an email to the office of the DFA just send your request for a courtesy lane and in my case i am very fortunate that i received a reply 45 minutes after i sent my email and they told me that it is being verified and after two hours they gave me an instruction to send a copy of my old passport and my visa and also uh, the medical record of my friend that i'm gonna visit so i sent back all the documents that they needed and they gave me a schedule so guys i am going to share with you some of the footages that i took while i renew my passport my entire travel time from davao to manila to la to chicago and my stay here in the united states during this pandemic time so i hope you will sit back relax and enjoy guys make sure that you will be 15 minutes earlier than your appointment time you can ask the guard to assist you of which line you will be at requirements for renewal of passport for adults core requirements are confirmed online appointment accomplished application form personal appearance current e-passport with photocopy of data page original psa authenticated documents that will support the change of name marriage contract annotated birth certificate annotated marriage contract to show annulment divorce court ordered instruction death certificate of spouse note if a woman opts to retain maiden name a marriage contract is not required the new biometric Philippine passport cost 950 pesos, that is 12 working days processing time. But you can also choose 1,200 pesos, which is 6 working days processing time. When claiming your new passport, guys, you should bring your original passport receipt and your old passport. Guys, you have to know your destination specific travel rules and requirements please make sure that you have the correct and have completed the required documents before you travel philippine airlines general requirements are recognized proof of vaccination negative covid19 test rt pcr or antigen swab result from doh accredited laboratories taken one day prior to departure for example if your flight is at 1 p.m on a friday you could board with a negative test that was taken anytime on the prior thursday prior to departure 
RT-PCR swab test price ranges from 3,500 rush results after 6 to 9 hours, 2,400 results within 24 hours. Requirements for RT-PCR test, one photocopy of valid government-issued ID, and guys, make sure to bring your own ball pen. Getting inside the Davao International Airport follows the same health protocols such as social distancing and wearing of mask. For security check, you have to present your government issued ID and your flight ticket. For those who are asking about travel tax, travel tax is a fee imposed by the government for Filipinos traveling abroad. The full travel tax is 1620 for passengers on economy class plane tickets and 2700 when flying first class, as stated by Presidential Decree 1183. Philippine citizens have to pay the appropriate travel tax regardless of the place where the airline ticket is issued or the form of payment. Please stow your baggage in the overhead bins or under the seats in front of you. This is a non-smoking flight. Smoke, including electronic cigarette, is not allowed. If you're seated in a measure, you're cooperating. By the way, guys, this is not my first time to travel to the U.S. This is actually my fourth. I will try to make another video for that of how can you possibly acquire a 10-year multiple entry visit visa to the U.S. entrance for the international flight for the Philippine Airlines. citizens with tourist purpose visas the bureau of immigration travel requirements are an expired dfa issued passport at least six months valid an expired visa return ticket and in my case the immigration officer asked for my travel insurance done with my interview at the immigration and I am heading to gate 10. It's a six hours layover here in Manila, guys. But it's okay. Hago is real, but travel is real too. I'll see you soon, LA. 21 hours layover sa LA guys Makka Ogtas Your first point of entry into America is called Port of Entry. As part of arrival into U.S., 
all the travelers go through port of entry procedures where a CBP officer will ask some questions to check and validate your travel intent and verify your purpose of travel. In general, U.S. visa only allows you to arrive at port of entry. It does not grant you automatic entry into U.S. As a traveler, it is your responsibility to convince the Customs and Border Protection Officer by answering the questions asked by them properly and convince them to allow you to enter U.S. If CBP officer is not convinced, they may deny your entry and send you back to your home country. The port of entry questions vary by your purpose of travel. Welcome to Los Angeles International Airport. Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to my channel. This is Alibru and I welcome you all to Los Angeles International Airport. Yes guys, I am here finally back in the u.s and i'm waiting for my second flight going to chicago while waiting i am making this video to address those people who asked me how was i able to come here um, during this so if you want to know what are the requirements or the documents you need to prepare before coming here guys pinaka importante is you are fully vaccinated and to be fully vaccinated dapat naka 14 days ka after doon sa iyong um, second word kang mag-travel kung kulang ka sa araw kasi strict to, especially ang PAL very strict sila when it comes to following the guidelines and then you have to get a travel insurance not necessarily with um, COVID inclusive and also swab test hinahanap din nila yung result ng swab hindi naman masyadong strict to you just have to wear your mask all the time the entire travel was um, okay and uh, luckily hindi naman masyadong stricto sa immigration when i passed by immigration um they just asked me what is my purpose to travel here in the u.s and i told um, the immigration officer that i am going to visit my friend who has a cancer hindi naman siya makulit and also doon sa ating immigration officer sa Pilipinas, um, yun lang ang hinihingi niya sa akin, yung travel insurance. Another thing guys, yung ibang nagtatanong sa akin, paano ba makakuha ng visa? It's a different story na naman yun. So guys, for those who hasn't subscribed yet to my channel, please do not forget to hit the like, the subscribe, and the bell icon for you to get notified of my latest video uploaded on YouTube. So guys, stay tuned.